But right this second, we're doing a video at the Pop the People booth with Kyle at the NBA Show 2024. And James is going to do a little behind the scenes. We have a Shogun Ultra on two cameras and a Ninja Ultra, all on uh, Sony's. So I'm going to do this recording. By pushing one button, all of these cameras are going to stop recording. So all, by pushing the one button, we have audio, audio, and recording for a interview at NAB 2024 along with, with the sound devices. By pushing one button on the Sony FX6, three camera interview, with Kyle for Prompted People. Hey, this is Walter Van Dusen at the NAB Show 2024 in Las Vegas. We are in the Prompted People booth with Kyle Belford, uh, Prompted People. We met last year at, at NAB and we spent, we did a nice 360, well, 180 or whatever, 240 of the booth. And this is a company, the only company I personally would use for my prompters. The thing that we had to discuss and do the uh, from last year to now, is a way for me to get a confidence monitor prompter on my rolling interview stand. And I believe Kyle and I came up with a good solution. And can you tell me about this new item you have, yeah. Kyle? Yeah, so the 4K monitor will be able to mount on directly onto the stand. We do have a 15 millimeter round mount coming. Yes. About three months from now. That's okay, but, but there, we came up with a solution oh, yeah, before that, because I have the, I can do the rails and we, yeah, but it's, put it, it's on the way on the way but you can rig your own rails onto it you just buy your own adapters but we have an adapter solution coming out um hdmi loop through we have an sdi version coming out as well which uh the shogun uh uh shogun ultra has sdi in out and hdmi in out yeah so I, this would be a perfect solution for those that have for an example a shogun ultra not to be you know oh. i use the shogun ultra but this would be a good so this would be a total solution for SDI and HDMI. SDI, HDMI, uh, you could run a video feed or you could run script either way. Our software is scalable, so you could have a script going with video feed. The same so, so if I was uh, prepared, Kyle, I would be able to have an introduction uh, script that I can play and read it from the teleprompter if I was at a booth that I had to do specific topic, right? Yeah, this would be perfect for trade shows. You'd be able to make live edits. You could write a template, boilerplate script in there, and then just change. And how does this, how does it get on there? Did by an SD card or something? You can do it through an iPad. With, oh, so you do need a third, third party device. You can do that, um, or you can use an iPad mini. Well, I have an iPad Pro. So if I had an iPad Pro, which I have, and I have pre, Preloaded tele, tele, what is, what's the script called? Telescope. So if I had a preloaded telescopes, and let's say I was paid to go interview 10 different booths at a big boy show, they I would be prepared when I got to the booth. So we go USB-C to SDI or USB-C to... So that's pretty awesome, right? So for, for my use case scenario, you can see this is a huge benefit for me. Absolutely, yeah. And, and let's talk about... Uh, so it's a modular system. So it's a modular system, so you can start in the monitors, or you can start in the iPad mini, or you can start in the smartphone version. So the iPad mini also self-contained, no wires. <clears throat> Only the uh, power is running enough to power during the show, but you don't need that. But you could, if you had a long show, you just use like a PD power bank, and you're good to go. Same thing over here, right? So this is for the vertical content creators, such as James from uh, from Animos in the background. And then we have our good friends from Blue Shape over there, co-founder of Blue Shape. So we're talking, this is your mobile line for content creators and producers and et cetera to be on location at shows such as NAB 2024, going from vertical content to iPad, to having your design 1800 nit system which can take two batteries, can it also do the, the if I had a bat, like a V-mount battery and plugged into it? You can run a VTAP 5.5. So I would be pretty much self-contained for this and potentially at the very next show, which could be like Cinegear Expo LA. Yeah, you should hopefully have I, this on your system. We'll, we'll have this on my system. The reason why, what's some of the tips why you should have this on your system in this specific use case scenario? Well, what do people look? If I'm looking right now, I'm gonna be looking up. But so if I'm looking at this, I'm looking directly at the camera's lens. 
So the, what I have, which is sort of cool because we're actually recording here. So we're, we're actually recording what we're actually doing over here. And this is, so what happens is me and Kyle are going to do incorrectly look at this camera. Yeah. Which happens if you're doing a selfie, what happens is people look at themselves in the camera, but the, you should be looking at the cam. Most people look at the, the screen, but you should be looking at the camera. That's the issue I'm having, Kyle, is people see themselves up there. I want people to see themselves through the lens. Yeah, if I'm looking here, I'm looking right at the lens. And then I wouldn't necessarily need to have the Shogun facing this way. I would just have it backwards or off to the side so I can make sure it's recording. But You could even mount the Shogun on to this if you wanted to. Are you joking around? No, but it's bad for us. Are you being funny? No, no, no. It's got the same amount. It's just weird. So, so, so the Shogun Ultra is a 2000 nit. So I can mount my 2000 nit Shogun right here yes. and have exactly what I need seeing the red screen sitting in the recording. Yes. How cool is that, Kyle? Very cool, yes. It's like, that's sort of like really cool, don't you think? Even though this is a really good monitor, 1800 nit, which is pretty phenomenal for this, right? Yeah, 1800 nit 4K. But I can attach my Animo Shogun to this and have exact, instead of having it up here, I would just have it right here. Yep. That's pretty phenomenal. So if you got, so if any of you people see me at my very next show, which should be San Diego Expo LA at the, uh, where's it going to be this year? Uh, San Diego's in LA, yeah. Yeah, but what, it's not going to be at Paramount. It's going to be at Warner Brothers. So, yes. And you, you're based in California? We're based in Campbell, California. How far is that from Warner Brothers? Uh, about seven hours. So Kyle, is there anything else you want to share? Oh, uh, if you want to learn more about the Pocket Q, uh, allgoodpeople.com. Starts at two forty nine, three forty nine, seven ninety nine, and then and the seven ninety nine includes, with the exception of the batteries, uh, software, monitor, the whole system. That's not camera, obviously. So that's pretty phenomenal to get yourself into a professional main USA prompter, right? Yeah. With customer service based in USA. Yeah, uh, assembled, supported, and designed in the US. How how awesome is that? So if you have an issue, you have customer service that can help you. Yeah, reliable customer service, 24 7 support. And they've helped me before because I didn't know how to use something, and they extremely helped me out. So this has been Walter Van Dusen at uh, NAB Show 2024 with, with Kyle. Thank you very much, and have a great day. And behind the scenes, hopefully on Facebook or YouTube, is James Weatherby from Atomos. So he's the social media manager at Atomos that's doing it behind the scenes 